Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the type of uh, predatory mites that I purchased for my houseplants um, after making a video on finding a thrip on my philodendron Brazil. Um, obviously there's no uh, plant right there right now. It's uh, quarantining in my bathroom underneath a grow light. But in that video, in the comment section, there's a few of you that had asked what type of uh, predatory mites I purchased. And this is what I got. This is the grub grenade. I did order this um, a little while ago and one of the, like, the original package got lost in transit so uh, this uh, replacement one uh, came in the mail tonight so I thought I would open it up see if we can see any mites in the bag and uh, place them on the plants so these are soil or predatory soil mites here is the name of the mites that are in the package and here is what they search out fungus gnats uh, root weevils never even heard of that springtails uh, thrips pupae and more so yeah i'm going to pour a little bit into this uh, uh, saucer here see if we can see any of the mites uh, crawling around and then i'll be placing them in uh, or on some of my house plants here if you want to know a little bit more about the uh, this type of mite and the grub grenade my uh, friend Ashley from Gardening in Canada, she has an entire video about this product. So if you wanna go uh, check it out and learn more about uh, how these bugs actually work, I guess the uh, lifespan of them, that sort of thing. So they search out harmful insects in the soil and I, I'm not too sure if they go on the leaves or not, but they do all stages from eggs, uh, larvae, uh, and as well as adult. Um, I guess harmful bugs in your uh, in your houseplants. I am new to predatory mites um, with my houseplants. I typically just spray my plants off if I ever see like any uh, spider mites or anything like that. I usually just spray it down. But in doing some research recently about uh, the benefits of using mites, one thing that I uh, did realize or that I read is that if you use uh, insecticides or insecticidal soap. Bugs or uh, houseplant bugs can build up resistance to those types of products and eventually it is uh, less effective. So I know a lot of people will spray down a houseplant just as a preventative measure, but um, if and when you do have insects, um, they can develop a resistance to those types of products. So that's why I'm choosing to uh, try these uh, predatory mites or predatory bugs. I'm just gonna show this here first. There is some small little perforated holes just for uh, air exchange so these guys don't suffocate while they're in transit. Uh, this took about uh, maybe two days to uh, get from BC to Saskatchewan here. Okay, so it does come with, I should mention, a, a little instruction manual and it says, uh, where is it? It says, don't worry about being super accurate with the recommended. Okay, once again, my camera just shut off. So as I was saying, it says on this uh, instruction manual to not worry about being super accurate with the uh, recommended doses there. Uh, they will disperse themselves. So if you have a bunch of plants that are kind of uh, grouped together, they will um, hop from plant to plant, I guess. So uh, let's get in a little bit closer and see what we can find. There's a good one right there. Finally found a nice sized one. Let's see if I can get them a little bit more lit up there. There, that's what a predatory soil mite looks like. Sorry for the unsteady camera here. I'm trying to do my best, but I got it zoomed in so much that it's pretty shaky. There he goes. So that's what a soil predatory mite looks like. And let's see what he is compared to the size of the pencil, the end of the pencil. Almost looks like just a little tick or something like that, but it's uh, smaller than the tip of the end of the pencil. Just gonna go around and dump in a little spoonful for each. Just right on top of the soil. Doesn't say anything about like not watering the plant right away or anything like that. And I'm just gonna sneak this down there. So I'm not too sure, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. You can water these plants right after applying the uh, product. It's gonna dig down a little bit deeper. One thing I've noticed with these uh, self-watering pots is that it is starting to get uh, some fungus gnats. So I'm glad to see that those are on the package as well. Okay, I'm gonna move around to the back over here. Just sprinkle them around. 
I'm gonna keep my eye out just to see if I notice any of these mites on the uh, on the leaves. I'm hoping it takes care of any uh, pests on the leaves as well. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any experience with the uh, predatory mites, whether it's soil mites or um, any uh, any different types. I'm also going to add a scoop into my jewel orchid terrarium. It's right down there. I love these, these are absolutely gorgeous plants. I'm gonna be doing a video hopefully soon on this one. Um, yeah, I didn't properly seal the bottom of this container, so I'm gonna have to take all these plants out and I will seal the bottom so that it doesn't rust and no water gets through. I haven't had it leaking or anything like that, but I don't want it to, uh, I guess, get uh, rusty and eventually uh, deteriorate and kind of ruin this little uh, glass terrarium. Uh, so I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. I just wanted to quickly show the type that I used. Um, if you use beneficial or predatory mites, uh, let me know down in the comment section what type you use, um, what you think of them, and uh, just your overall experience. Thanks again for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.